Welcome to KPK Gemstones Club on YouTube. Emerald Treatment Over 99% of emeralds have surface-reaching fractures that are treated with oil, wax, resin, or something else entirely. This is done to improve the clarity of emeralds, and usually termed as enhancement instead of treatment is the sales sector of the gem industry. Labs will instead use terms such as treatment. The American Gem Trade Association AGTA, has defined an enhancement as any traditional process other than cutting and polishing that improves the appearance color clarity phenomena durability or availability of a gemstone emerald treatment. Over 99% of emeralds have surface reaching fractures that are treated with oil, wax, resin, or something else entirely. This is done to improve the clarity of emeralds, and usually termed as enhancement instead of treatment is the sales sector of the gem industry. Labs will instead use terms such as treatment. The American Gem Trade Association AGTA, has defined an enhancement as any traditional process other than cutting and polishing that improves the appearance color clarity phenomena durability or availability of a gemstone. Oil treatment. Fracture filling in emeralds is a very old practice. In the case of oiling a high viscosity cedar oil is typically used, though there are alternatives. Anything that has a similar refractive index to emeralds, meaning light passes through the material similarly. Oil treatments are not necessarily permanent and stable. Time, heat, or improper cleaning, will cause the oil to evaporate change color, or leach out of the stone. This is not a problem because emeralds can be re-oiled if the oil is accidentally removed or it has become discolored. Resin Treatment L. Natural and synthetic resins are alternatives to oil because they do not dry out as quickly. Natural resins such as Canadian balsam as well as manufactured resins and polymers including Opticon, Excel, and Permasafe, are more durable and last longer than oil. The caveat to this treatment is that it is nearly impossible to clean out the resin afterwards. Especially if a hardener, also called a plasticizer or stabilizer, was added to prolong the longevity of the treatment. Colored oil. Colored oil is used to improve the apparent color of some emeralds and green barrel although the practice is generally frowned upon. However, all treatments for gems are fine so long as this information is disclosed to the customer. This also means appropriate pricing, and informing the customer on how to properly care for emeralds with these treatments too. Lack of disclosure for any of these factors is fraudulent. Identification of treatments. There are many products to fracture fill emeralds. 99% of all emeralds are treated after all. In light of this, some labs and gemstone dealers felt the need to establish a standard to identify and classify the enhancing agents used in different countries. In 1999, experts gathered in Switzerland and created a protocol. It is a three-tiered system for describing fracture-filled emeralds in the trade. It is not universally accepted or implemented, but does provide a standard of grading where it is lacking. The Burn Agreement identifies three levels of disclosure. Level 1 identifies the stone as a natural emerald with colorless or colored fillers. Level 2 describes the degree of filing as minor, moderate, or significant. 
Level 3 identifies the type of filler upon request if a determination can be made. It is one thing to identify an emerald as being treated, but identifying the specific treatment is a separate story. Without distinguishing characteristics of the resin or oil present like the specific colored flashes above, it can be impossible to be certain of what the treatment is.